In today's video, we're checking out the Mythic, uh, ending Mythic drop with, of course, the redux of the uh, Mythic and uh, AK117. And uh, yeah, a couple of, lot of other really cool skins. Yeah, of course, we're going to be checking it out. And also, we're going to be maxing out the Mythic AK117 in this video. So yeah, if you do guys enjoy the video, make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And if you do want my AK117 build, then make sure to, of course, stay tuned to end for that. And let's get into the video. Okay, thank you guys to Gorilla Fitness Gaming. They have... Uh, five subscribers at the time of recording the video, and uh, yeah, they'll be mainly multiplayer race content. So, if you do go over and enjoy them any of their videos, then make sure to, of course, like the video if you do enjoy, and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general. Of course, I've linked down below in the description and up on the screen here. Make sure to go over, be supportive, but leaving any supportive comments on what you enjoy about their videos. Are you positive but le and le by leaving any positive comments on what, you, um, what they can improve about their videos? So, yeah, make sure to go over, be positive, be supportive, and let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in the um, uh, in the of course the mythic area, and we are going to be showing off the, di the different mythic levels before we get into the training mode. So as you can see, the first one is all the uh, custom attachments. Yep, the second one uh, is the new death effect. Then we have the. Reactive state. Trace around, of course, and your name shows up like that when you kill someone. And the final uh, mythic shroud is what it's called. And of course, you can share your mythic, and it'll come with MVP as well. So yeah, some really cool, um, really cool stuff. Now let's get into course the training mode where I can show you off the mythic AK117. Okay, so here we are in the train mode. As you can see, I the Mythic AK117, but we're going to start with, of course, the Katana. That's quite a cool Katana. Uh, the black and the uh, the, silk, the kind of uh, gold, yellow uh, animated bit go well, quite well together, I would say. And the Katana is one of my favourite um, melees as well, which is quite nice. So yeah, overall it's going to get a, a 6 out of 10, it's a pretty decent skin I would say, so yeah. Then of course we have the, uh, the Nyx skin. It's a pretty decent skin I would say, not quite a lot of detail to it, of course the cape as well. But yeah, really, really decent, quite nice, I'm going to give it an, a 7 out of 10, decent, decent skin, yeah. And the white hair is quite cool as well, so yeah, definitely a 6 out of 10. 10 out of 10 even. So yeah, now we get on to, of course, the, uh, the Mythic AK117. And of course, a lot of people will be very familiar with it if you do play any Battle Royale. Here is the Mythic Inspect. Yeah, 
As you see, very, very nice. And is it that this, this is the iron toy? It's a close race place to win. And very nice and clear. I find it really helps uh, not to block off, off head glitches. And then of course the uh, trace rounds as well. Now, I, 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 I almost find that the, the trace rounds can be a bit of a disadvantage just because they, um, they do give away your location quite well. But yeah. Overall, it was a super nice game, one of the best skins in the game, I would say. I certainly get a 9 out of 10 from me, definitely really, really nice. And the death bed isn't too obstructed as well, fortunately. So yeah, overall, some really, really nice skins in this in this game before. Now, in terms of the AK117, it kind of surprised me. Um, it's, it felt, felt pretty decent in the games I played. Uh, they saved me more of a medium and long range gun. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. Of course, I had a decently low recoil and a higher fire rate. Uh, which is, it is slightly more forgiving if you do miss a couple of shots. So yeah, super nice skin. Would highly recommend checking it out, of course. And the gun is actually really fun to use as well. So yeah, uh, over here, here is the uh, recoil. As you can see, pretty much straight up, almost no vertical recoil, so no super easy to control. A bit more kick than some other ARs though, just because it does have the faster fire rate. Here is the hit fire. Today. Actually, the hit fire is actually surprisingly good on this one. So yeah, and of course in here are the damage numbers, 24, so it's guaranteed 4 shot, um, and this range is pretty good considering it's a faster fire rate. And it draws off by, by 1, so you have to hit at least 1 off body or headshot to make it a, um, to make it a, a, three, a 3 shot, I mean a 4 shot even. And finally, it goes down to 19. So, yeah, still decent damage, but not as good as some other guns. Yeah, definitely more of a medium, more of a medium range killer, I would say. But still, I, I've had a lot of fun using it, and of course, and the, with the lower recoil, makes it a lot easier to use. And actually, the decent fast fire is actually pretty decent to use at close range as well. So yeah. So yeah, overall, I had a lot of fun using the gun. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was a um, uh, definitely one worth checking out. Uh, the gun is super fun, and the uh, the skin is super fun, super easy and nice to use as well. Uh, the gun has a very minimal recoil, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, more of a beginner friendly gun, I would say, especially with the uh, the higher fire rate of the gun. Uh, definitely, definitely makes it a, fun, a decent gun to use. Yeah, overall the draws are a ten about a uh, about an eight. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. It's a super nice draw. I would highly recommend checking it out. And uh, yeah, um, overall the um, yeah, uh, overall the, uh, the actual gun is super fun to use. So yeah, definitely would highly recommend checking out both of these things. And uh, yeah, now let's of course get into the ranked game players.
I can say it's my AK Bob one turn build. As you can see, it's an actually range build. I had nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent one. I also just like, I had a lot of fun using it. So yeah, we have the Monolith Expressor for the sight ability and plus 25% damage at range. We have the MIP Extended Light Bow for the minus 3.8% ADS bullet shred, plus 12% damage at range and minus 6% horizontal recoil. We have the No Stop for the minus 14% ADS time, plus minus plus 3% movement speed and plus 10% ADS movement speed. We have the Granulated Grip Tape for minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. And finally we have the 49 Extended Mag for the plus 10 mag capacity. <laughs>